The New York Times has responded to claims made by the Rajapaksa faction regarding the report published by the newspaper. The New York Times in its release says, quote, If Rajapaksa takes issue with Times reporting, we have encouraged him to contact senior editors at the New York Times rather than intimidating Sri Lankan journalists, unquote. The release says, quote, a group of Sri Lankan parliamentarians allied with the former president, Mahindra Raj Paksa, held a news conference to publicly criticize two journalists who contributed logistical assistance to a rigorously reported and accurate New York Times investigation into the Hambantha report, unquote. The release further says, quote, it is unacceptable for journalists to be intimidated in this way. This action appears intended to silence critics and curb press freedoms and ultimately deprive Sri Lankans of information in the public interest, unquote. Michael Slackman, the international editor of the New York Times, says, quote, it expects the Sri Lankan authorities to ensure the safety of journalists working for our or any news organization, unquote. UPFA parliamentarian Namal Rajpaksa says, quote, at no time did Rajpaksa or myself intimidate the journalists who worked on this article, unquote. He adds, quote, just like the press has a right to criticize politicians, don't we also have the right to publicly criticize reporting we believe to be faulty, unquote. In his tweet, Namal Rajapaksa says, quote, please specify which MPs you are accusing of having intimidated journalists with regard to the Hambantha report article. When and where did this occur? These types of unspecified, vague accusations are exactly what we have a problem with." Unquote. Meanwhile, Minister of Finance and Mass Media Mangala Samaravira sending out a tweet says, back to the old tricks even while in opposition. Shame on you. The free media movements also criticize the intimidation of journalists. The Foreign Correspondents Association says they are disturbed that several members of parliament have publicly vilified the authors of the report without utilizing established channels to redress any grievances arising from the impugned report.